Hello and welcome to Recipes and Hospitality with Clara. This is a channel where we give you recipes that are simple to do at home to enhance your hospitality to the glory of God. And we have another simple recipe. When I did the natural softener, I said that I would do a few of the recipes that require this uh, natural softener. And this vegetable that we are doing today requires that. Um, I know especially in our Kenyan context, we eat cowpeas leaves or what we call kunde or in western we will call them rikobe or rihubi depending on where you are in western and um, many people when they eat rihubi or kunde they say that you eat it and it's like a ball gum it doesn't <laughs> get uh, chewed up you know and one of the things that softens that vegetable is actually that vegetable softener that are link in the description below and so if you would want to know about it go to that recipe but if you must soften it uh, any other way other people will use magadi soda about a quarter a teaspoon of the amount of vegetable we will use but natural softener of course is always the best way to go so let's pray so that god will grant us a fruitful time as we work on this vegetable father we trust you to be with us just grant us your fruitfulness show us your way grant us to do your will as we do this in jesus name amen Yeah, so once we get them from the market, of course we work on them to get the leaves. If it's a small one like this, you don't have to work to remove. Uh, the big ones are the ones we remove the sticks. Um, and usually if you're getting them, like this one is too small, so I'll just cut it. Uh, but usually if you're getting them from the farm, uh, they will usually have two little leaves, the first leaves. Uh, at the bottom here. So what you will usually do is don't work on those ones because they are usually hard but thankfully these ones I bought they had already cut that out and then the others you just work on them but this one I just do that and uh, we continue working on the rest. Yeah so the vegetables are kind of that much a handful so I'll wash uh, this way and then rinse out. Um, now, where I come from in Western, we will usually um, cook them like this and eat them like this. I'm rinsing in two bowls of water. Um, but because the people I live with are not used to that, I will rinse this out and just slice them a little. Uh, but usually we will cook them like this. So I'll slice them a little and then we will go ahead and cook them. And so I've kind of sliced them into smaller pieces. Now we will go to cook them. Yeah, so I have one and a half cups of water boiling. I will pour in the quarter cup of um, new or natural softener. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll link in the description uh, the recipe to how I made the natural softener because like I said earlier I just wanted to show us some of the recipes with which we use this natural softener. So now because the water is again uh, boiling I will put in my vegetables and uh, once it starts boiling again, I will keep turning them for a short time before now we go to fry them. Yeah, so you can see it's starting to simmer. So what we will do is just keep turning them, keep turning them until they are ready now for us to uh, fry the vegetables. Yeah, so I have been stirring and give them a break to cook and stir and I've done this for five minutes. Um, so we will go ahead and start frying our kunde. And so we are frying the onion. I've just used about three tablespoons because our vegetables are not many. But of course if you have a lot of vegetables you can do more. 
to move them to a light golden color. Yeah, so we will put in the garlic at some at this point because it's just getting to uh, light golden. I've just used one clove of garlic because for obvious reasons really our vegetables are just uh, a little. So we try to add a golden color. Yeah, so that's the golden color. So we'll put in the onion. I have mixed the onion with green pepper or hoho because as you may know, our vegetables are basically cooked. So we just want to spice them up so that they are tasty. Yeah, so I will allow them to simmer for a minute or two, covered, um, so that they can, the um, onions, I, I grated them, uh, the onions can cook and soften further to form a nice puree. So we've done a few minutes on low fire, so I'll add in the spices. I've done half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of curry powder and half a teaspoon of salt but you can put spices of your choice and we will again cover for a minute just to allow the spices to cook yeah so there yeah that's our nicely done puree so now I will do this I will get out as much of the water as possible and just get the vegetables uh, so that I don't have too much uh, soup in the vegetables. You can see what I told you about the softener. The veggies basically remain green. Uh, they don't change their color and of course like I said earlier you can still use magadi soda but I prefer this because you have less chemicals. <laughs> this is really natural. Uh, so I will stir it, I will strain the rest of the vegetables, the water out and get them so that I just have the soup that somehow escaped with the vegetables into the uh, puree and then we will allow them to cook for a minute or two uh, so that it uh, blends in very well with the spices and the rest of the ingredients. Yeah, so that's a minute that we've done, and about a minute and a half, really. Um, so our vegetables are done, so we go ahead to serve them with ugali. So we are done with the vegetable. I tell you, it's tasty, tasty, tasty. It's one of the vegetables you really want to do, especially with your ugali. It goes really well with ugali. So, my dear tasters, I'm sure you want to see, to taste and tell me. So, how is it? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm, tasty. Wow. And you know it can go with your beef stew or chicken or whatever stew, but even without that it's still really tasty mm -hmm. and so thank you for joining us as we did this simple recipe try it at home i'm sure you will enjoy it and so like share subscribe be part of this uh, 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 channel where we do recipes that are simple easy to do to enhance your hospitality so until our next video it's bye